The bigger they are, the harder they hit you. What did you think I was gonna say? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 biggest bosses in video games. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays, game smarter. For this titanic list, we're looking at the most physically massive bosses that video games have ever pitted us against. Number 10, Kraid, Super Metroid. While not as notorious as his fellow alien space pirate Ridley, this corpulent reptile is still a major recurring boss in the Metroid series. A massive green and yellow lizard, this nasty customer attacks Samus with razor-sharp claws, boulders fired from his mouth, and last but not least, spikes fired from his belly. The menacing Kraid takes up most of the arena that you fight him in, dwarfing Samus and presenting an imposing challenge for players facing him for the first time. Thankfully, he can be whittled down with some patience and skill. Inflict enough damage, and the boss will sink into the floor below. Number 9, Deathwing, World of Warcraft. When it comes to fantasy, few creatures hold as mighty a status as dragons. Massive, intelligent, able to fly and breathe fire, they are forced to be reckoned with even for the most steely of knights. Among the dragons appearing in fantasy works, we can't think of many more fearsome than the massive boss of the eponymous MMORPG. When fighting this gargantuan terror, it's easy to lose sight of your character entirely as you desperately try to chip away at its health, especially during the portion of the fight that you spend riding on its friggin' back. But with perseverance and a good team, the unmaker of worlds will eventually succumb. The dawning of the age of mortals has begun. Number 8, Uxan the Third, Sirius Sam, the first encounter. This first person shooter doesn't exactly play it subtle pulling out pretty much all the stops for a classic dose of run and gun mayhem. This remains true when it comes to the big finale, as your final foe is this giant four-armed goat-legged monster. Oh, and did we mention that each of his forearms is holding a different weapon? Despite the massive arsenal that you've built up over the game, you're gonna need a bigger weapon to take this guy out. Thankfully, there's a conveniently placed laser in the alien mothership floating overhead that you can use to bring this giant of a boss to heal. Number 7, Jubileus, Bayonetta. No one can control Jubileus now. His power is too intense. This 2010 game from Devil May Cry creator Hideki Kamiya has you squaring off against some really massive bosses, but the finale definitely takes the cake. A gigantic angelic deity, this boss is no pushover, presenting a challenge even for the game's badass protagonist. <laughs> But with some skill, timing, giant boot-mounted Gatling guns, and an equally massive demon conjured out of hair, did we mention these games are kinda out there? You can eventually punch the boss's spirit out of its body, sending it hurtling across the solar system and directly into the sun. Over the top? Absolutely. Effective? Also yes. Number 6, Adamantoys, Final Fantasy XV. Dude, you can't be serious! Oh crap, you are! Who doesn't love a good road trip? Pile into the car with some buds and just see where the road will take ya. But if you're one of the protagonists of this epic game, you aren't in for any ordinary road trip. As Prince Noctis and his entourage, you'll be spending your time on the road fighting a number of massive and powerful creatures, but none of them compare to this giant friggin' turtle. With a whopping 5,264,400 health points, the Adamantois requires a serious time commitment, depending on your level and skill at the time. You could be looking at an hour or more spent chipping away at itself. Way, way. That took everything we had. You should be proud you gave it your all. I've got nothing left. Number five, Mauler, Killzone 3. <laughs> Let it never be said that the Hellgast mess around. After attempting to invade the planet Helgen, the soldiers of Vecta quickly discover that they've bitten off a bit more than they can chew. Along with the considerable defenses assembled to fight off the invasion is the Mounted Artillery Walker slash Long Range, or Mauler, a massive war machine armed to the teeth with machine guns, mortars, missiles, and a devastating energy weapon. 
thanks to its considerable armament and weapons, taking it out is no easy feat. But if you can figure out how to shoot the weak points for massive damage, this gigantic machine can eventually be disabled. Number 4. Angels. Near Automata. The very first major boss you fight in this epic action RPG is no featherweight, as it's a giant alien machine that rises out of an abandoned factory. It may look like pure science fiction, but the massive bucket wheel excavators it uses as arms are actually based on a real life piece of machinery called the Badger 293, a mining machine that currently holds the Guinness World Records for, you guessed it, largest vehicle ever produced. That alone should give you a rough idea of the size we're actually talking about here. This massive battle starts off one of 2017's most epic games on an unforgettable note. You just die already! Number 3. Phalanx. Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, you don't get to be called a colossus without being colossal, right? The 13th of the 16 colossi that you'll battle in this classic game from Team Ico, this airborne beast is a sight to behold at 557 feet long. You'll need every ounce of your strength and skill to defeat this massive foe, to say nothing of your trusty steed aggro. In a game built around massive, epic boss battles, your pitched fight with this enemy still stands out as one of gaming's most breathtaking and challenging. Just keep your grip, don't lose your cool, and whatever you do, don't look down. Trust us on that. Number 2. Kronos, God of War 3. This time, retribution finally comes to me, Spartan. The king of the titans and father of the gods, this ancient deity is appropriately massive. Less of a boss and more of a level in and of himself. You'll first cross paths with this giant being in the very first God of War game, where you'll find him carrying Pandora's temple on his back. Later, in the third installment, you'll encounter him again in Hades, leading to one of the greatest boss battles in gaming. There are not many games that'll have you fighting a pitched battle against your foe's fingernails, but I think we can also all agree that there aren't that many games as badass as God of War. Number 1. Golgen Wizen. Asura's Wrath. We attained new heights. A tale of revenge and retribution that can only be described as epic. This 2011 game is all about massive, earth shattering fights between deities of almost unimaginable power. Yeah, it's also clearly inspired by our last entry, but what are you gonna do? As the demigod Asura, you'll be taking on heaven itself in your quest for revenge, facing down against the powerful seven deities. As your battle with the first of the game's bosses progresses, he'll change and grow into larger and more powerful forms, eventually growing large enough to nearly dwarf the friggin' planet. But as is often the case in this game, the trick to defeating this boss is to punch a whole lot and scream as loud as you can. Who'd have thought? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.